Hello guys, so welcome to this tutorial video. My name is Cell. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the incident cost calculator. So whenever an incident occurs, it's very important that we are able to estimate the cost in order to justify why we need to implement or manage health and safety. So basically, um, we've designed this template for users to utilize to determine and estimate the cost of incident. So we have the approved list where we've identified all the various actions that you can take whenever an incident occurs and you need to know that whenever we take those actions there are cost elements involved so we've categorized all those actions over here we have the immediate action that is dealing with the incident and we have first aid treatment transporting an injured person to the hospital transporting injured injured person to home country making the area safe when it comes to investigation we have conducting investigation reporting completing paperwork and a couple of others business cost salary cost to of the injured person over time cost for from remaining staff hiring and relocating replacement cost and a whole lot of cost element okay and we've categorized them according to the immediate action investigation returning to business repair and replacement productivity sanctions and penalties and then of course whether they are direct or indirect cost and we look at the level of impact and have over here the type of incident so we have the source data that's where you basically work most of the time so you begin by just providing the date of the incident and then you set an incident id a unique id that you want to use and then you sort of repeat the title all throughout um, and of course this is from a drop down so you just have to utilize the drop down to select it all throughout and identify all the various actions that have been taken and whether it is an immediate action so this portion is automatically um, populated based on the kind of incident um, action that you selected for example if i selected conducting investigation is going to change to investigation so let me just bring it back and it's going to tell you whether it's a direct or indirect cost so all you need to do is just based on the cost element you need to ascertain whether it was an hourly um it's something that can be measured based on an hourly rate or it's based on quantity and you need to provide the hourly rate or the cost per unit and you can be able to determine the cost and this is a cumulative cost eventually it's going to set tell you whether it's a low or medium or high impact in your organization now once that once you're done populating data um, in terms of the incident details the actions and the cost estimates all you need to do is just come to the data tab on the menu and click on refresh all and you have this generated for you and we have all these other reports cost by case id cost by incident type direct and indirect cost cost trend all of that completed for you and these are some of the graphs we put together to make up the dashboard so on the dashboard we have um the direct cost on the dashboard we have the direct cost the indirect cost and the total cost okay and we have the cost according to the incident type we have the cost trend and the direct and indirect cost trend over as well in front of a, a graph and we have the case id cost according to the case id so to show you how it is used i'll quickly delete the data and simulate an incident okay so let me just get rid of the data over here um and then i would simply go to the data tab let me just go to the dashboard so you can see and i click on refresh all so as you can see everything just vanishes so i just want to start populating data okay um so for instance uh, today we had an incident and i give it a unique case id this case id maybe uh, um, let me call it incident 001 and what kind of incident is it maybe you had a slip man slipped or uh, tripped over and, and broke his ankle or something man tripped and broke ankle and what kind of incident would that be so for instance man tripped and broke his ankle we can see that was a lost time incident because the person has to be away for a couple of days what kind of action did you take First and foremost, we're gonna look at dealing with the incident. So, of course, the person lost broken ankle. There's gonna be a bit of first aid treatment initially there, 
and we're also gonna look at transporting the person to the hospital and we're also gonna look at um let's say immediate staff downtime so we had to stop the work and then we did carry an investigation which is conducting I mean investigating you could look at meeting with incident uh, meeting to discuss incident and these are all like actions that have caused implication meeting with an enforcement authority and all of that so what we need to do is that we just duplicate the details right here just to make sure that um it's the same if details over here and we have all these act actions accounted for it so now when it comes to first aid treatment that may have been done by the medic and probably it has a cost implication so we probably how many hours was used probably an hour hourly rate for the medic who carried out this tax probably is 300 dollars uh, and maybe let's say 50 dollars probably 50 dollars and we can also look at transporting an injured person to site so those uh, transporting transportation was just a um, probably uh, one event so we can indicate as one and what was the cost of transporting the person if it was a helicopter that was used what was the price of a helicopter to do this kind of work or probably you can look at the back and forth trip so the helicopter had to be mobilized and demobilized back so we're gonna be looking at two in terms of um trips or probably want to account for it in terms of hours three that's all up to you probably six hours was utilized for that was the cost of renting a helicopter to transport somebody to the hospital or even an ambulance okay so assuming we, we contracted an ambulance to do that you know, probably hundred dollars an hour for i mean just on random figures that i'm providing immediate stuff downtime so this very stuff has to stop work okay and and how many hours of or probably all workers on site have to stop the work so how many hours of downtime you had one hour downtime all workers have to stop the work and um, probably uh, we have about 300 workers on site so that's another crucial thing so maybe an hour was, was lost and about 300 workers had to equally stop so that makes 300 hours of downtime was lost and we're gonna multiply by the number of an act you can set an average of um hours hours in terms of hourly rate for the workers probably you can see 50 dollars uh, an hour so um let me just try and reduce it over here i see what is going on here i just need to expand this so just, let me just unprotect the worksheet uh, the password is over here shexel icc so i just come here unprotect and let me put it in the Shexel ICC that's incident cost calculator and let me try to protect it back but this time around I want to make sure that you can format the columns and the rows of walls so if I then of course you can then be able to move things around like this so hundred dollars ten dollars for an hourly rate for 300 workers we have to stop the work because of this gentleman you also look at investigation i mean reporting you can talk about probably five persons involved in the incident investigation and they all had to allocate about 10 hours of their time for this so that would probably mean 50 hours and then we can look at the hourly rates for all of them probably they, they set a budget to pay them probably ten dollars an hour for conducting investigation if that is really really the case you can look at meeting to discuss the incident so obviously probably three hours was allocated and probably ten dollars per, per hour allocated for the for carrying out an investigation you can look at bear in mind that it's not always going to be direct there's always going to be indirect costs those kind of costs that you cannot really quantify some are even intangible at all so you need to just take note and estimate some of the cost we can look at a um, meeting with the enforcement authority so one hour was allocated to meet the enforcement authority probably need to set um, organize probably um, get a location arrange for for some sort of refreshment just to discuss the issue and all of that so you can provide some sort of um, a, a amount of print for, within that hour so it's gonna be like 60 um, dollars an hour for the whole meeting so once you're done just come to the data tab on the menu and then click on refresh all and as you can see in july we had a lost time injury 
and this is the breakdown and we have the direct cost and the indirect cost and the total cost showing over here so at the end it is based on the kind of actions that are in here in the approved list so you can equally review it add more if you think you've not captured a lot more it is all up to you so we are trying to make sure that you have a systematic approach of estimating cost of incidents so that's just um how it is guys so this is a very special tool let me quickly bring back the old data i don't want to change anything so let me bring it back all right so i brought it back so guys if there's something that you'd be interested in just click on the link below and simply get in touch if you need customization you have no worries at all i'm always available to support you with customization we provide 100 percent support now let me show you that real quick on the front end of our website if you come to the support page you can book a meeting with me so that we discuss how best we can support you or you can simply request for a live chat obviously there's a live chat right here or you can utilize this we provide 100 percent support so you have no worries at all so thanks guys for watching and meet you soon